what Satan is planning. And you may be able to form some opinion about how far he's come in carrying out his plans. We'll turn first of all to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, which really is mainly given over to dealing with the... Uh, Appearance, revelation, manifestation of Antichrist. It's also dealing with preparation for the Lord's return. And of course, they're very closely intertwined because the final satanic act before the return of the Lord will be the Antichrist. In fact, Paul says the Lord will destroy the Antichrist with the brightness of his coming. Personally, I have no real aim to be a hero. Uh, I'm prepared to let Jesus deal with the Antichrist myself. I think he's the only one who can. I think the true Christ, the true Messiah, will deal with the false when he comes. I think that's one of the main purposes of his coming, is to defeat and cast down and overthrow the Antichrist. Anyhow, if we turn to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, Beginning at verse 1, I'm just reading to verse 3. Now, brethren, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, that's the theme of this passage. And the word coming there is parousia in Greek, which is the word which is normally used for the second coming of the Lord Jesus. Concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him as the church, which is to be caught up to meet him, we ask you not to be soon shaken in mind or troubled, don't be disturbed, don't be deceived, either by spirit, that is a false prophecy or a false teacher, or by word,